you don't have to stay in this box of my doctor told me that I have X, Y, and Z, so yes. I take X, Y, and Z. No, you don't. There are ways, there are people that are literally like, come, I can show you, I can support you. And that's what we celebrate at Healthy Happy Hours. We celebrate all these people that are passionate about showing people a different way, another way that's going to address the whole of them. All right, listen, you're not gonna believe this because I don't believe it because we're about to get educated. I told you <laughs> that we need to learn about what holistic healing is and I got somebody special. <laughs> You've known her all over the DMV area. She's been featured here, there, and everywhere, especially for her beautiful gourmet meals. The founder of Love Dynasty. But what you might not know is she is the queen of holistic health and wellness. <laughs> and I have her here. She is going to explain some things. Oh, but I'm going to have to bring it down because we are in her creative studio. And let me tell you, when you come in here, it just, all your senses are heightened. It smells so beautiful. You know, I come in on a 10, I was like, oh, I gotta, <laughs> let me come down. It was immediately a relaxing and the music, she has the ambiance, just like your soul is calm. I was like, all right, love dynasty, do it. She brought me down to maybe a nine. I'm back up, <laughs> let me come down a little bit. But you guys, I'm so excited that you're here with us today. This is me. Love. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. Now, before we dive in, I just want you to explain, especially to the healthcare family, because I I need you know clarity or clarity. <laughs> so, can you tell us what a certified holistic health practitioner is? I can. So um, there are many schools in which you can go and study um, mm -hmm. holistic wellness these days. And originally when I got my certification back in 2012, um, the most popular school, and it probably still is these days, was the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. Mm -hmm. And so when you go there and you study, when you graduate, you get a certification as a certified holistic health practitioner. So holistic comes from whole being. We are whole beings. So how is your mind? How is your body? How is your spirit? Oh. What's happening in all these areas? Whatever the imbalances are they are connected somehow and they manifest as diseases but they're not the root there is some root in one of those areas in your mind and your spirit and your physical body and we look to to address that and actually heal those areas oh wow mind body spirit. i wish my doctors <laughs> was like that that's good stuff okay so that cleared that up because you know we were wondering what holistic health practitioner actually means but you know, we know you as a chef. How did you just pop up and decide, okay, I'm gonna go get this <laughs> certification because you know, most people, they still make it beautiful meals, but yeah. they don't. So pretty much, um, I got into the, the food industry when I was young, I was 21 mm. in 2005. Mm -hmm. And um, found out pretty quickly that I was good. You know, I was like, this, I could do this with my cars clothes. You know, you know what I mean? Look, it yeah. is what it is. Uh -huh. um, but I was, I was drawn deeper and further and I knew there was something. I didn't know what it was. I just was like, it can't just be food. They cannot. Just when you watch people eat and you watch how food affects us as human beings, as spiritual mm. beings, it's like there's something more here. And I kept digging, I kept digging. And I found out that it was all along, it was the healing. I knew that I, I, I knew that I loved how people responded to me when they ate my food. I, I knew how, how happy people would be, how they felt good, how they, it just created just all this joy and happiness for people, but I wanted to take it a, a step further. I wanted to really explore how I could use this knowledge that I have, how I could use my skills in culinary to really take it to the next level and, and show people how to heal themselves with food. Wow. And um, I started by doing detoxes because when I was in uh, the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, mm -hmm. that's one of the, the modules that we learned about is detoxification. And that has stuck with me my whole entire career thus far. That is how everyone who works with me starts. You cannot be my client, you cannot be my friend <laughs> in wellness <laughs> if you do not allow me to put you through a detox because He's like, come on, you clean your car, you yes. clean everything, you clean your house mm -hmm. on a very frequent basis. You have got to clean yourself from the inside out. Why would you start a new regimen, a new program, a new life every new year? Be like, new year, new me. I know, that's you right. have got to clean yourself. And it's just one of the, the most basic and from, from in my world um, and most effective ways to really get a jump start, get a reboot and to start a disciplined new path is to clean it out and then start bringing all the goodness in. Wow. So y'all hear that? <laughs> she started with food. I'm blessed. 
to make this food. But then you just wanted a deeper purpose. You've been, oh wow, healing with, I've been telling y'all we can <laughs> heal with food. But and when you, but when yeah. you, if you look at it, like even from a, a layman's space, when you are cooking, everything that you're using to put on the food, mm -hmm. the seasonings, they're herbs and spices. <sighs> Mm -hmm. And they're all, every single one of them have a healing benefit, both physical, spiritual. It's, it's crazy, but we're doing it. We just don't know. There's no awareness there. And not mm -hmm. all of us. There are some that paid attention to our grandmas and our mamas, you yes. know, um, yes. that knew the healing benefits of some of these things, because it's a global thing. People all over the world, you know, the wise ones know that there is healing in food Ooh. and that you can use the herbs and spices that we typically just use to make it taste good to actually address the issues that we have going on and the imbalances that we have going on within our physical and spiritual bodies. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Now see, well, we see we're sitting here and I know she heals with food, but you mentioned something about detoxing. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, I really want to understand. I, I thought I was going to talk about these oils, but you were telling me <laughs> they were tools. So explain, you know, how we get there. Pretty much the detox. Um, it's a combination of raw juices, mm -hmm. um, plant-based smoothies that are um, high in raw vegan protein, and um, different tonics and essential oils, of course, can't have a detox of essential oils. Um, Zendocrine, actually, which at the last happy hour, this was, I don't know if you got to see, but this is our detoxification blend. It's called Zendocrine, and it detoxifies our liver. Our liver is our detox organ. Everything mm -hmm. that gets detoxed in our body it gets filtered through our liver. So in this blend um, called Zendocrine, through doTERRA is what I use. So there's tangerine peel, rosemary leaf, geranium, which is what you, one of the things you smell when you came in. Oh, it's diffusing. Juniper berry and cilantro. And cilantro is one of my favorite essential oils and herbs. I actually have it here too. You ever smell cilantro? You would cook with it at all? So. Let me let you. Y'all heard how she said that? <laughs> now y'all heard me say it. So cilantro. It's, <laughs> it's a detox herb. So it detoxes heavy metals from your body. Yes. So you'll see it in a lot of detox teas and combinations. But smell that. So this, I stopped pretty much using cilantro mm. for the most part i like to, to garnish it can be pretty but flavor wise could you imagine one drop of this ah, it smells amazing. but it doesn't it and it's it's you smell different notes of it when when you press it and get the oil yeah it just smells so good so yeah all those things that i mentioned in addition to my my beloved potion wellness product line yes. because when i um back in the day when i was a young girl and i started detoxing mm. folks i was like wait you can have all this awesome food in your body all these you know raw foods fruits and veggies mm -hmm. and then you're putting crap on your body you're putting regular deodorant on and shampoo and yeah. lotion and that's how i started love potion wellness years ago it, it grew oh. into love potion wellness but it initially started because i was detoxifying folks but i didn't want them to use product on their body that was not holistic so i created deodorant i created toothpaste i created the things that i wanted them to be able to use while detoxing that will actually support their detox and not be you know, kind of anti-detoxification. And then this is um, detox salt mm -hmm. soak. Salt soaks have a number of salts. So it has Himalayan, um, I love pink sea salt. Mm -hmm. It's one of, the, one of the main salts we use. And it also has Epsom salt. Um, then it has a whole bunch of different flowers and herbs and essential oils in it. Um, but how are you supposed to, to use it? it you throw like it in the tub. Oh! It's a, literally a salt soak, it's a bath. Good for, salt is just a wonderful detoxifier for our bodies, but also is really good for um, just muscles and relaxing your muscles. Mm. We're very, you know, we do a lot. We work out, we run from yes, we person do. to person, <laughs> interviewing them, yes. or feeding them, or making. And so it's really good in addition to the detoxification purposes to relax yourself. So self-care is also a big part of um, what, what I do, reminding people and myself to love on yourself, mm -hmm. to take the time to take a bath, to put on a mask, to, to love on your skin, to love on your body. Ah. It's like to stop and smell the geranium, just literally just stop and smell it. And, and notice how it makes you feel, notice what it actually does to you on a spiritual level, on an emotional mm -hmm. level. Um, just be good to you. This is there's so much. There's ah. It's a whole world, like literally, and I'm like a kid in it. Like I live to learn wow. about the next best great oil and combo and how it complements you know the food or the or the actual physical herbs because mm -hmm. one of the one of the things we have in the potion blend uh line that i love is our tea and so the tea is also infused with essential oil literally like 90 
nine percent of my product line is infused with essential oil um and so that's another thing that i think is exciting about what i do is i work with a lot of other holistic wellness practitioners mm -hmm. showing them how to use my tools in their wellness practice so if you make teas or if you make body care products but you've never been exposed to using this quality of essential oils in them or never even thinking about oh i can add a lemongrass oil to my candle mm. an actual real not you know some fake essential yes. oils, but actual real high quality essential oils that actually heal and also work on spiritual healing as well in addition to physical healing mm -hmm. that's that changes the game but when you start to get deeper in this world you understand there's a commercial side of things and then there's a healing side of things because people have for so long taken the fragrance piece of essential oils and some herbs and really just pushed that and some spices but not really recognizing the healing um, behind it and it's happening more lately like everybody's using turmeric for everything turmeric has been around yes. thousands of years healing people f f so much and now you see it everywhere right yes because now mind you if, you if you're from the caribbean or you're indian you have eaten turmeric tum yes every day all day all for the their whole life right and now they know you know what it, yeah. you know most of them but it's like we we don't know that side because we just buy it as a spice to season something mm. you know and so it's really once again reframing how we're thinking about the foods that we eat the herbs that we eat the spices that we use oh my gosh so we de doing. detox from the inside a lot of us do that but we do forget we about, about detox and how and this is an organ this is our largest organ your skin absorbs everything if you this is my rule of thumb if you're not going to put it in your body you should not put it on your body because it's going to go in anyway it absorbs you're wrong it absorbs especially i always tell people like think about it you clean your tub with bleach mm -hmm. and then you get in the shower with this hot water you I open do. up your pores and then the bleach just goes if there's any residual because your pores are open and oh. the heat yeah so that's why it's important to use natural and you know clean products to clean your home with which is why love potions exist oh. Yes. Okay. So you got to tell us some more <laughs> about this love potion. So what, what services do you offer? What's going on here? So with um, Love Thyself Wellness, I want to support people that want to be better, that are like, I want to live a holistic lifestyle. How do I do that? Because the thing is, there's so much information. There's like, honey, <laughs> literally like it's even for a person like myself who's been in this lifestyle for years, it's a lot. And so really supporting people um, around navigating that. I want to be that person, that expert that you can come to and say, I need you. Um, we offer makeovers, so we do come in and do a pantry makeover, kind of like trash. Oh, I thought you meant crappy. like a makeover. No, You're talking no, about no. makeover my life. No, <laughs> but, that, but the whole thing is really making over your life. Mm -hmm. um, but what that looks like is the, you know, the coaching programs, the, the makeovers for your pantry, come in, literally like assess what you have going on and show you what you can swap out, you know, because it's all about crowding in um we do a vip um wellness uh, experience where literally i have you for a weekend or a day depending on how you choose and all of my wellness friends that have other specialties literally surround you with love pamper you and take you through the program that i have that is like three you have a couple different options you have a um a three month program you have a 12 week program you have all these different programs go in one day and or one weekend you get all of it so you're like a crash course in holistic um, living. Um, oh my God. Do grocery shopping tours, take you to the grocery store and really show you how to shop. Um, there's a number of sh uh, stores that I'll be partnering with to, to do the tours. Mm -hmm. And to really show you that it's not as intimidating as it seems. You just have to have the information. You have to be willing to do the work, of course, let's be honest. Um, because it is a lot of information. But once you get those basics and you understand really holistic nutrition is the base of all this, you need to understand what your body needs to survive. So if you don't understand the body and how food relates to your body, like why you're even eating, what is the fat, what is the protein, what is the carbohydrate, why do I need these things, how is it contributing to me being tired, me being sleepy, me having acne, people never even think that, oh, I have a gluten intolerance, that's why I have eczema. Honey. But it's one of the main, th you know, so it's like it's really so supporting people and redefining and kind of reconceptualizing how they view food as opposed to just eating it because it tastes good. But really understanding how it's affecting you, mind, body, and spirit, and how you can be the the captain of your of your ship, aka your life, yes. by tweaking what you're eating, what you're not eating, what you're supplementing with, what you're missing, um, what products you're using, and how to really make that shift seamlessly. You know. Wow. I feel like this is this is like an education course. It well, is. Education like is one of our pillars. That's like one of the most important ones. Like I told you earlier when you came in here, I don't want forever clients. I do not want forever clients. Oh. Like I. 
my job is to teach you and to gift you with the knowledge that I have continued to to to, to gain over my life, and I'll continue to gain because this is you know, I'm a forever student, I'm always learning, and it really is about the education. That's why I offer so many workshops and events and experiences mm -hmm. because I want to teach. Teaching is the I feel like at our best, we're all lovers and teachers. You know, oh, um, wow. I don't want to hoard knowledge and information. Like I want to give it away. That's why I want people to come here and create um, and learn and. Um, or bring me, you know, book me to come to their groups and you know mm -hmm. their events to share, you know, this knowledge, this information. And it's fun. It's like when you find out that you can literally use one of these oils or one of these herbs to handle an issue that you've been dealing with for yes. forever. And it's like it's exciting, you know. And it's like okay, cool. What's next? You know, you like just keep knocking it out. Like you like you can keep checking off, you know, your goals um, on your wellness list. Wow, that was a lot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but that's you know, great. I just want to pack you up and put you in my pocket <laughs> whenever I'm going around. Do I need to buy this? I just, oh, this is so good. So you mentioned, um, you know, these happy, healthy, happy hours. So what's, what's going on with that? Explain so I we can shout, show up. And it's a multifaceted, um, once again, that's who I am, right? It's a multifaceted experience. So pretty much healthy, happy hours. I rebooted in August. Mm -hmm. So back in the day when I first became a doTERRA um, wellness advocate, I was like, oh my gosh. Because they changed my life. These oils changed my life, period. That's mm. it. They changed the people in my life at the time. They changed their lives. And it still is to this day. So I was like, how can I get this information to people? I just have to. There's no way. I, I would be selfish to have all this mm. and not give it away. So the Healthy Happy Hour started as me just educating people around essential oil. Recently, when I started to I transition back into really um, going full throttle with my wellness, I was like, we need to get Healthy Happy Hours back going. I said, let's do it. And I had a, a wonderful um, sister friend who owns the spa that we are mm -hmm. at. Um, but um, Simple Wellness. Um, Simple Wellness. Downtown Baltimore on North Charles Street. And so I, I wanted to connect with people that were as passionate about health and wellness as I was. And so, oh. and each time we have a happy hour, we have a highlight. Mm -hmm. And so like this um, next one in October, is gonna be a mixed fit instructor, Monique Graham. She's gonna come and we're gonna do mixed fit, oh. which is, um, you know, a, a, a all about, about movement and dance. And yes. Things. Because that's very important in holistic wellness as well. Mm -hmm. As well, what are you doing physically with your body? How are you moving? You Ooh. need to be moving in order to keep your organs good, to keep your, you know, your metabolism going. Mm -hmm. and so that's pretty much what it is. It's just a, a, a good time, a good it vibe. Is. It's a vibe. It is. It's such a vibe. <laughs> and it's once again a way to connect with people yes. that can support you. Like we, this network is going to grow. This holistic ambassador, uh, holistic wellness ambassador network is going to grow in the, in ways that I wasn't even ready for when I started it. You don't have to stay in this box of my doctor told me that I have X, Y, and Z. So yes. I take X, Y, and Z. No, you don't. There are ways. There are people that are literally like come. I can show you, I can support you. And that's what we celebrate at Healthy Happy Hours. We celebrate all these people that are passionate about showing people a different way, another way that's going to address the whole of them. Oh, well, thank you for telling us. So you guys, if you are really into health and wellness, you want to know more, or you know people who do, there's a lot of people who do, especially in this area. She's not just doing this in Baltimore. They'll be in DC, in the Virginia area, where New I'm York, at. Where I'm from. Yes. So this is a great way to connect and really learn more because education, she just gave you like two <laughs> semesters. <laughs> what you don't understand. <laughs> Wow! Oh man, you gotta tell us, how do we hook up with you? Where do we find you? Yes, so right now the best way to find me is on Facebook and or Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, so The Love Dynasty on Facebook and Instagram. And also um, for the for the products, yes. um, Love Potion Wellness on Instagram and Love Potion Wellness Kitchen and Bar on Facebook. And that's where you can see, you know, all that's going on with the products. <sighs> So excited, y'all, because the holidays are coming up and everybody about to get yes. love potion from me because those are healthy things. And even with the skin and stuff, I don't do that a lot and tell people I am always focused on the inside. So I learned something today. Oh man, I'm excited. Thank you so much. You got to leave us with some final you. words. Oh, you do? Oh. Yes, I have a little wellness. I like to give people wellness boxes, wellness <sighs> bags, just to leave people with a little, like, you know. I already did. You already brought me down. I don't know. They might be kryptonite. They might, be, <laughs> they might come and you give her the oil. Turn her down. That's awesome. Well, give us some final words before final we go. Words. Um, definitely come out to Healthy Happy Hour. The next one is October 17th, um, 6.30 to 8.30 at 
Simple Wellness, mm -hmm. um, 519 North Charles Street, lower level, Baltimore, Maryland. Um, we'll have Monique Graham doing the mixed fit, and then of course I'll do my spiel, and we'll have some food, and we'll listen to some jazz, and we'll have fun just around wellness and celebrate um, all the things we're doing. And it's a great networking opportunity. Mm -hmm. Clearly, you know, mm -hmm. all the people that like do this, I love that. I sit back and just like, you know, I mean, it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. That's good. <laughs> we'll have, yeah, thank you. And then we'll have a Yomi Love event. Um, Delanya Boyd, you mm -hmm. weren't there. The, oh, the, you were there, but you missed her. I, I think. did. I missed her. So she was the the herbalist. She was the first holistic wellness um, ambassador that went. But we're working on this amazing Yoni Love event for November. We're just pretty much celebrating the divine feminine and teaching women how to reconnect with their Yoni through Ooh. herbs, essential oils, um, sacral chakra. What is Yoni? Work. For those of us who don't, oh, <laughs> we need to connect mm -hmm. with our yoni. <laughs> Someone was telling me that because I was talking about um, fibroids, my fibroid mm -hmm. situation. They were we'll like, talk about that as well. Our yoni. I'm like, what are you saying? Speak of the English. So I, you know, oh, you guys, I expect you to connect. <laughs> Let's book her, okay? <laughs> She's booked. I will not be able to do this again. She's like, mm, I don't have time. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. This thank was you. great. And we will be connecting very soon. Like, share, share with other people who definitely really want to get their whole bodies in tune with health. You have somebody here who's going to coach you through it. Yes. Too much information. All right, Health and Fit family, see you next Sunday. Yay!